We're on our way to Moscow today to get an update on the project and see where things are. Hopefully talk to more Mainers working on the project and really just getting an update overall on where we stand. I'm Thorne Dickinson. This show allows me to talk with Mainers working on the most important clean energy project to ever come to our state. We discuss how this project is providing jobs and other benefits today while creating clean energy for a better tomorrow. So today, uh, Chimbro Irby Crews came in, set up all their equipment uh, to set structure 427, which is the 15th structure to be set. And they completed that uh, around lunchtime today, just a little while ago. Everything went great, uh, like clockwork. So they just demobilized out of the work site and are uh, headed over to the next job site. So my mom works at, uh, she's a cardiologist in uh, at Franklin in Farmington, lives in Wilton. And uh, she's had people come up to her and say, oh, is that your son? And she's like, yeah. Oh, I thought he was away because I was in Philly for two years. Mud season, as you know, for us, it's, it's our fifth season in the state of Maine, we joke about. Uh, you always try to plan your work around it. Uh, the crews have been looking at it, trying to see where they're going to set up on roads that aren't posted and respect the postings on roads as, as the temperatures warrant and stay away from those. And uh, they've got some matting in place to be able to, to do this. The guys are stopping in. They're, they're getting their, their breakfast, their coffees, they're getting stuff for lunch at the different stores. And the crews are in the area. They are definitely patronizing all the businesses and, uh, and keeping the money right in the communities. There's been a few people come out talking to the guys saying they're doing a, a really good job and you know when they stop them on the road uh, to let some of the equipment come and go, traffic. They've uh, interacted with the flaggers, you know, saying they're doing a good job at, at keeping the traffic flowing, still keeping people safe. You always get a few that don't like stopping. We're getting those, but uh, for the most part, I think uh, those who are watching what we're doing, uh, saying we're doing a real good job. That's the impression I'm getting from the, the workers who are, who are seeing these people. So some of the structures here, uh, because of uh, the way segment one was put on hold, some of the structures have to be repurposed and put into uh, this segment too. Got to be renumbered, retagged. Some of the work uh, down on the other end of this job, down where the inverter station is going to be, uh, they can. They're starting to put the driveway into that. There'll be some line work uh, starting up in the next two to three weeks, hopefully down there to raise structures up to make room for them to complete the road and uh, start the inverter uh, site and. Uh, Hopefully, uh, you know, I think it's right through the, towards the end of May, they can keep hand cutting. Then they'll have all the trees on the ground. Then when we have the period of time for the uh, shutdown of tree cutting because of the, the protected bat, they'll be able to haul the trees that are already on the ground, so it should keep things rolling at a pretty good pace. It's great to be up in Moscow, get a chance to see more of the poles being erected, more of the work being done, um, and also just seeing what this project will look like and the benefits that it brings to the state.